Hi everyone, it's Kelly here on my brand new camera. Um, I hope the quality is good for you. Um, now you can really see the red in my face like I was telling you, but maybe you didn't see it. So I thought I would just do the day today um, kind of simple. My um, Yesterday I didn't get a chance to to record at all or play with my camera. I had to take my puppy to uh, the, the rehab center and um, get her hips worked on. And then my youngest, who is seven, got glasses yesterday. So I was on the move so much. By the time I got home, it was just too late to sit down. My, my makeup was like all over the place because <laughs> just, I don't know what, what happened, but I powdered underneath my eyes. My my eyeshadow came down a little bit. I don't think I don't think I used primer yesterday. I was in just a big hurry. So I am here now and I apologize for yesterday. I do want to make these uh, blogs every day and let's get started. So today I thought that I would show you after I washed my face in the shower, what I used after uh, I get out on my skin. So the first thing that I use is hyalur hyaluronic acid. Is it going to... Wow. Okay, bear with me. I'm getting used to this thing. I wonder if I can... It's supposed to manually... Hyaluronic acid. This is pure hyaluronic acid. And what I do is I go ahead and I just take a little vial of it and put some on my finger and just spread it around all my face. Because usually in the morning is when my skin is really dry from the, all the nighttime and the moisturizer I use is really thick and creamy. But like I said, I have very dry skin. My hair is so dry that I don't even need to wash it but every four days and don't get grossed out. I shower every day, but as for my hair, I can't because it is just, um, it's just too dry. And on top of it, I know I didn't say anything, but I have psoriasis, and um, I've lived with psoriasis since I was very young. And so I'll get into that, a whole new video. There's so many things that I want to talk to you about that's not makeup related that um, I have lived through, kind of like my life story, um, if you will. And um, But those are other videos that I do want to do for you and I hope that you enjoy them because I always want to help people. That's just something that I guess I was brought up with. I'm always trying to help whoever I can help. Uh, my husband says that I am very gullible and maybe I am, but it's just something that I always do. If anybody calls me or needs help in any way, um, I help them, especially family. Family is my first. Um, but like I'm always giving money, you know, a little bit of money to people on the corners asking for it. Not everybody, but maybe I am gullible. So let's get let's get this video back on. So I just put it all over my hands. This is a Lay Regenerous Micro Sculpting Cream Moisturizer. So that goes on after my hyaluronic acid. And it's it's not thick. I just put that all over my skin and just really rub it in. This feels so good to the skin. It makes it so silky. And I've been using this regimen for maybe four or five months. Uh, maybe more. I don't know. And I have noticed a huge difference in my texture of my skin. Big, big difference. Now I'm going to take the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream for normal to dry skin. I, I, you know what? Just bear with me. I am going to learn this camera. I really, really am. <laughs> because I waited so long for it. Now I'm going to learn it. So I just take a pea size. And this is, you know, much richer cream. And I tell you what, my skin is the softest 
it's ever been. And I have tried so many different cleansers. Clinique, I've done Lancome, I've done Estee Lauder. Uh, let's see, I did. I just did Origins last year and it started out okay, but then my skin didn't like it anymore. I've tried a lot of Biolage and Pervonier. I've tried a lot of them and I can't say that one is better than the other. I just, I can't say that. So, okay, so once that dries and it's not so tacky anymore, I get my Too Faced Primed and Poreless. Come on, you. Come on, you can do it. Ooh, there we go. And I just put, you know, a couple couple squirts of this on my face. Now this is the cream, not cream. Feels like cream, but it's very, very thick. And I guess you could call it silicone-y. And then I go ahead and I pat that make sure I get everything, my lines, my... And so that is what I'm left with. You can see really close. I have little veins. My mother has them. My grandfather had little veins in his cheeks. No matter how good you take care of your skin, those little veins come out. And I don't know what can take them away. I guess maybe a laser if I wanted to get into that, um, but I haven't really thought about that as long as there's makeup out there that can cover that. I just don't like putting anything like that, de you know, to me that laser is kind of detrimental. I could be wrong, but it kind of scares me because my face is, <laughs> is all I have. I only have one face. So now I'm going to take my Tarte BB cream and I've used this for a while. It's in light. And I'm going to apply that all over my red skin. And it does, it does go on quite dark at first. It's one of those foundations that do go on a little dark at first, but then it will lighten up. And I do all over my face. I'm going to try not to talk so much in this video because I know that maybe, you know, you guys just don't want, let me see if I can, I really want this to work for you guys. I'm so excited about this first video. Um, I'm sorry, I keep saying, um, my brain's trying to think today. I didn't get much sleep last night, so it's functioning on not much sleep. I may do a video on that later as to why I can't sleep. It has nothing to do with me. Um, but I will, it's kind of a long story and I will, I want to, I want to tell it. I'm not uh, embarrassed about anything. I really am not. I mean, if I can do a video and talk about some private things, um, that will help. I know will help somebody else. I'll do it. I mean, that doesn't bother me in the least. Okay, so I got that on my face. Now I'm going to take my Rimmel 2-in-1 Concealer and Highlighter. And this is in 125 Fair. And I'm going to put that right under my eyes. My face is actually looking really good today. I had a couple breakouts the other day. I don't know why. Sometimes they just show up at the weirdest times. I used to use a Clarisonic, but I found that dried my face even more. So I don't use a Clarisonic anymore. Okay, so that's all padded in. Then I'm going to take 
my Clarins Ecot Minute, I'm probably saying that wrong, um, an instant light brush on perfecter I used in one of my other videos. I keep looking at the the screen. It's not showing it, maybe because it's so shiny. Oh, there it goes. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that a little where I put that concealer. This stuff is great. I love this stuff. I actually forgot I had it. I don't know. I just started using something else and forgot it was in my drawer. But this is one of my all-time favorites. It does brighten under your eye. Just want to pat that in. Don't rub. And that would be that. Would be that. Um, I'm going to set it with my Rimmel Stay Matte under my eyes because I find that this Rimmel is really good about keeping the fine lines covered under my eyes. And the, the Tarte BB Cream, it really covers very well for a BB Cream. I love Tarte products. This brush. My brushes love to shed on me all the time. So I went to the drugstore and I bought a new bronzer. It and I this has been around. I've seen it um, on other videos. It's the Physicians Formula Cashmere Wear Ultra Smoothing Bronzer, and it looks like this. There's a little strip of highlighter in there. And it's 100% pure cashmere extract, it says. It's from, I don't know if I said, from Physicians Formula. And it is, it just says bronzer 7338. And I'll open it up. I just hope it doesn't turn my face orange. It's so hard to find a good bronzer. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit of that, oh boy, I better watch it, and put that on right under my cheekbone to give my round face some definition. And then this cheekbone, it looks really dark on the camera, but it's not. <laughs> I don't want to go around looking like a clown. Hey everyone, this is my bronzer. Can you see it? Okay. Put that on my head to give me a little glow up there. On the sides of my nose, not that I have a really big nose, but that's where they kind of tell you to make sure you put it. Okay, I am going to kind of slowly go out. I'm going to learn how this does this on its own. You know what? My husband can figure everything out. And when it comes to electronics and me, forget it. We don't, we don't mix very well. We're like water and oil. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to use is I'm going to go out of my, out of my shell. I used a different bronzer from my Bare Minerals. I'm going to use a different blush oh. come on blush Eek. this is called dainty I don't know if they have this anymore but it's by Mac and I'm gonna take my blush brush of real techniques blush brush no number and I'm just gonna pat that actually this is a really light one. I'm so used to the Bare Minerals being so pigmented. Just a little dash of color today. Um, I'm going to do an outfit of the day for you. Oh, come on, camera, please. But it's not going to be some anything fancy. It's just one of my lounge around, go to the grocery store kind of outfits. Nothing, nothing special. But I would like to do that now, is do some outfits of the day for you. 
can see a little bit of what's in my closet. Now I'm going to take the Pure Afterglow, and this is what it looks like. Here's the inside. It's kind of a plain case, but the product itself, make, it makes up for the plain case. Okay, so I'm going to put that right on the top real lightly because I don't want to be a bright face. It gives you a nice, healthy glow. You can see it on my lip. Just a little bit does you, I mean, it's just a very subtle, very subtle glow. Okay, so let's get on to my powder brush. Where are you? Okay, this is my Real Techniques powder brush. And I thought that I would take my Tarte Fair Honey Fair Skin. I did a review on this. And I would put that as my powder over my face. My little puppy's in here if you can hear her. She, she's loud when she breathes. And this just gives you that, oh my gosh, I mean, if the BB cream is not enough for you to give you that flawless finish, the BB cream and this powder, oh my hair, work very well together, very well together. Where I reviewed and said this powder, or really this foundation, is not good by itself. It's very good with Tarte BB Cream. And I know one of you commented and said that you, you know, liked the review from the powder BB Cream to the creamy foundation. Well, if you like that, then you should try the BB Cream by Tarte and the Tarte Powder Foundation. It just, look at my face. I mean, do you see any red in it? Any. I mean, my face looks so flawless right now. And that's how I like it. So let's, get, I keep saying so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's get my eyebrow pencil, which is still Anastasia's soft brown. And put my eyebrows on. This is just the favorite time of makeup for me. Eyebrows on. Yesterday, I during all my running around, I do want to tell you that I put on the Maybelline Age Rewind Foundation. And I did set it with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And... It was my longest day with that foundation on my face. So by the end of the day, my face was so blotchety. It just, it looked like it was oxidizing my, on my nose, around here. And as much as it covered really well for me and I loved it so much, I have now put it in my Oh, for crying out loud, no way am I wearing you again because I want a makeup that I can rely on to get me through the day instead of getting in the car. And of course, my husband's not going to say anything because he thinks I'm going to yell at him if he says, Oh, honey, your, make your makeup doesn't look too good. And this is not focusing very well on me. Come on now. I am so sorry about this. I am trying to figure this camera out. And I will, I will get this camera figured out, believe me. So my husband doesn't want to say anything because then he knows I'm going to want to go home. I don't want to show my face to anybody. Because that is how I am. It's like I said, you know, makeup makes you feel so good about yourself. And it shouldn't be like that, but it does. It makes me feel really good about me. So then I'm going to take my Too Faced Chocolate Bar. 
and I am taking my Sedona Lace 561 angled tapered brush and I'm going to take this color again that I showed you in my other video. Where are you? It looks darker in here, but it's right there. It's kind of a hint of red in it, I guess. And I'm going to re-get what I missed with the, the Brow Wiz and just give it a little bit more of a reddish tone so my hair looks a little natural on me even though it's not really a natural color and that's all I'm gonna do just a little bit not a lot okay so then I am going to go ahead and take my da, da, da. where are you it, it, it's so small it hides my clear brow gel by Anastasia And I'm going to put a very light coat of that on my eyebrow. And that's it. Eyebrows are done. So then I am going to take my primer that I forgot to put on yesterday and that added to my mess of a face. And I'm just going to put that here. I'm going to put that all over under here just so it will hold my makeup. I can have really sweaty eyelids. I am going through what I think is pre-menopause and I sweat constantly. And if there's anything that you could ever do to me to make me so frustrated, it would be to make me sweat. I hate the feeling of it. And I hate the fact that I can feel it trickling down my back. That's how much I sweat. I sweat. And I never used to sweat when I was younger. Your body just makes amazing changes as it, as it goes through life. I'm telling you, there are certain things I can't eat. So this is the Coastal Scents. It says BRC number two. And it's just a flat brush. There you go. That's better. And I'm going to stick with my chocolate bar today from Too Faced. And I'm going to take this really pretty pink right here. And I'm going to put that all over my eyelid. This is a really pale color. It's not matte. You have to use quite a bit of it if you want it to really show. Okay, and then I'm going to take my Sigma Blending E25 brush and it is quite stained from darker colors. And I'm going to take this shimmery brown right here. And I'm just going to glide that into my crease. The other day, of course I have to talk to you, the other day when I looked at my YouTube and I saw that I had 18 subscribers, I was so happy. I was just so ecstatic. I guess because I just, you know, I, I don't know. Sometimes you just don't think you're as good as you really are and my daughter's the same way um, she is a gorgeous artist and she has created 
my tattoos on my body. So when anybody asks about my tattoos, I always tell them uh, my daughter, I wear my daughter's art because my husband and I both wear my daughter's art. And of course she doesn't do the tattooing herself. Um, we take it to our tattoo guy, but she's amazing. And when people come up to her and tell her her work is just absolutely amazing, she says, well, it's not that good. And people just look at her like, what, 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 are, what are you talking about? Your, your, your work is beautiful. I'm going to take this terracotta right here and put that over my eyelid. This is a, a mat. And I think I am, I think we all have a little confidence problem. I know that I have for years. And I have to tell you something. I never in high school, I never did eyeshadow. I never did eyebrows. In fact, my sister was the one that told me, hey, I think you better pluck those furry things. And she's seven years younger than me. And I'm like, pluck them? Why? Why would I do that? Um, I, I just never thought about doing it. And I have to say, and I have to give a person credit on YouTube where, where credit is due. And I have to tell you that Samantha Sherman taught me so much about eyeshadows, how to blend eyeshadows. Uh, I, I just watched her and I stuck like glue to her when she first came on YouTube. Of course, she didn't do a lot of makeup tutorials, but I have been watching her for a very long time. And she, and I've told her this before, she may not, you know, remember me or know, uh, remember, you know, me messaging her, but I told her, I said, Sam, you have taught me so much. And of course, there's a little bit of an age gap there, <laughs> but uh, she just, she just has a way about her that makes, that makes your you think of your doomed day so much nicer and I just absolutely love her I love her little family so shout out to the Sherman show I love them very much I have followed them for so long and I'm happy that I did because she taught me a lot so now I'm going to take my Sigma tapered blending E35 that's where I found out about these brushes was my my Sam She just, she brought me into the world of makeup, let me tell you. I mean, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't a lot of it for her. But everybody needs that confidence booster once in a while. And I do that with my daughter. I've, I've raised her to be, to try to be very proud of what she does because she's been drawing for so long and I wanted her to go I'm, you know what I'm talking too much I'm taking this same brown in the corner and I'm taking my flat definer E15 from Sigma and I'm gonna put that under my lid my lower lid But she has a lot of the same issues I had when I was younger and she just doesn't have a very strong viewpoint about herself and I wish she wasn't like that because she's beautiful to me she's beautiful she's my daughter and I love her very much I just wish she would be a little bit more um, I can't think of the word I'm looking for just a little bit Think a little bit more about herself okay so here I'm going with the Revlon color stay this did stay on yesterday the skinny black eyeliner there's the pin and I'm gonna bring my mirror up really close
I told Sorry, I don't know what happened. My camera just turned off. Hmm, I'm gonna have to look into that. Maybe it's tired of me talking so much. I'm just a talker by nature. But I told my daughter that I wanted to <laughs> interview her on my channel. This is just not, it's really slow about going in and out. I hope this video works. I hope it does. I really want you guys to see it. And I'm trying to get her to agree to do it. I think you guys would really enjoy her when we get together. We There's never a dull moment. <laughs> We kind of feed off each other, that's that's a fact. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Roller Lash and Benefit. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my lashes. And yesterday I really worked at this mascara and I got my lashes really long but it just takes a little work so what I did was I took the end of my wand and I just kind of oh I got a I got a lone eyelash right there he wants to be the longest out of the clan and I just did the edges like this and <laughs> what is that oh must have been here they came out so nice and long so use your use all of your wand when you're putting on mascara even the tip see my eyelashes are longer than the other day. And there are... I don't know if you can see it, but my camera is awfully dark. And then when I look at it, it's like reminded. Ooh, I better do my job. And it focuses better. Okay, so I am, that's not what I want. Wow. I'm gonna take my, maybe I should use something different today for you guys. I'm going to take my e.l.f. matte lip color, and this is in Praline, and they do still have these, I know they do. I was just on their website. I ordered a whole bunch of stuff, so I'm going to do a haul soon on that. And I'm going to... Can you see me? Just a very matte... A matte, just brown like um yeah I guess a brown lip and so that is my look for today I can't wait to see this and make sure this video came out right for you and then I was going to show you the outfit that I have on bear with me I've not done this on this camera yet so I'm hoping it's going to be nice to me and work so, I have this top from New York and Company. It is an extra large. And these pants are from New York and Company. And these are also an extra large. And then my, my lace top underneath that has lace on the bottom is from Maurice's and it's an extra large. 
And then my shoes, you probably can't see because I'm getting farther. <laughs> Let me get a close up. Hold on. Let's see, can you see them? I don't have my husband here today. I'm going to figure this out. These are my black and white checkered shoes. And they are from Roxy. And let me see if I can get a better view. There it is. And these are from Roxy. And they are super, super comfortable. Great for a day when you just want to do nothing. And, well, actually, I, I never do anything on a given day. I have grocery shopping to do today. But didn't feel like getting dressed up for that. Who are you going to see grocery shopping? Probably everybody. But, oh, well. So I'm sorry this video was so long. I just, I like I said, I have so much to tell you and um, I sometimes I just try to put it all in one video and then when I go to upload it's like, ah! <clears throat> it's too much, it's too long. <laughs> I have to start editing it. So um, like my video uh, if you enjoyed it and please subscribe and and share my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. I have my Facebook and my Twitter account in the down bar, and I also got up finally my new website. And on that website, I have me with blonde hair and me with this red hair, and my hair is long. I just recently cut it. So I hope you go and look at my website, and um, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.